Welcome back to episode three in my New York City apartment design series. I think at this moment, things are looking worse before they're gonna look better. I know it's like more styrofoam, more boxes, but believe you me, it's not the same mess as before and that's what's important. Basically, we're in this room today because my other room is set up as a bedroom now and this room is gonna be my new living room and my couch arrives in a couple days, so I wanna set it up so that way when my couch gets here, I can just lay, lay it down. But that means I have to get rid of this because I did get a new bed frame as you saw in my last video, but I'm, I have to sell this. So game plan is to clear out everything down here and around the sides and then take pictures of the bed frame. A sneak peek of new pillows too. I think that's it. So I'm gonna move all the extra stuff out into the main room. It's gonna look insane in there, but I think before I do that, I should try and get the, okay. I should try and get the dresser from there into here, which is my new room. I'm loving having the bed in this room. It just makes so much sense. And don't you worry, this desk is not gonna stay here. It's gonna go in the other room. We even have the new dining table. So yeah, basically this is gonna be a dining area. I'm gonna get some benches for the corner, have this big table. Get a couple chairs. Bookshelf is gonna go there. I'm gonna disguise the washing machine somewhere over there and this is gonna go in this room. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to sell. I just have to do it. Also, we got this on a dolly. The washer now rolls. If you're new here, hi, my name is Chelsea. I'm a 30 something living alone here in New York City. I just moved into this apartment three months ago now. Woohoo! We're selling it. I'm still grieving the loss, so I don't wanna explain. No, but I'll explain later. But interior design takes time, especially for me when I have no idea what I'm doing. Slowly but surely, this pile of crap is dwindling and it's getting, you know, pretty cozy in here already. What do you think? Yes! It's the perfect fit. That's really nice. I didn't want to have to sell this. Great! Well, look! All right! Now we're gonna fill up this empty space with stuff from that room, but it's progress still. I'll admit that after painting the kitchen, I wasn't a huge fan of the green. It looked really good on the swatch, but it ended up being like a bit too in your face for me. I don't know if that makes any sense. I also think I realized I want the type of green that's a bit more cool toned and like a lighter shade, maybe with a little blue in it or something. I don't know. She's ready to be photographed. This happened when I painted my last place too. I got the color all wrong and I had to repaint, but actually the current green of my kitchen is starting to grow on me day by day. And I like it way more in the natural light. So I'm gonna stick with it for now. I think once I get the ceiling painted, then I'll decide kind of where I want to go with the kitchen if I want to change it. But I mean, that's just all part of the fun of this process though. It's like making mistakes, learning, and then reassessing until everything is right. Right, like something I see on Pinterest that I'm like, oh, that's fantastic, I want that. And then I do it in my own kitchen and then it actually doesn't work in my space, but it'll work itself out eventually. It took me about an hour to figure that out. The amount of times I stubbed my toe and bashed my knee into this bed frame, boy, bye. You did the job, but also caused me a lot of pain in the process. I sincerely hope the next person who owns this bed frame is not as clumsy as me. Anyone else out there super clumsy? Now, I'm gonna move this back to the living room. I'm gonna set up the rug in here. Yee! Vacuum bag. That's okay, we're done. <laughs> I've ever ordered in my life. Okay, uh, I like it. The shag element needs to be fluffed up a little bit. It's looking a little depressed. Definitely like a brown gray pattern there. And when the couch is here, I'm gonna probably pull it away from the wall a bit. So the next step is once I sell the furniture I need to sell, then I can um, unpack and then I can paint the ceiling. I am so hungry. Ever since the marathon, my appetite has been coming back and I have been craving pizza and I have not denied myself of said pizza. Not me moving to Queens and then ordering Domino's. I'm putting together my ads. Some days I eat really healthy and I'm all into the grilled chicken breast, salads, but then all of a sudden I'm not. <laughs> it's all about balance. This pizza's huge though. Look at this. 
Domino's dipping sauces got smaller. They were not this small before. I did not care. Dude, I posted the couch 10 minutes ago and someone bought it. <laughs> and they're picking it up tomorrow. So that's great. Oh, the end of an era with that couch. That was a good couch, but I'm really happy to have it out of my apartment. I want everything gone. <laughs> Hopefully the rest of the things sell that fast because I'm not even done posting all the things I'm trying to sell. Nope, never mind. That guy tried to scam me. I didn't sell the couch yet. LOL. All right, I almost got scammed twice. No, I'm smarter than that. I took so much cybersecurity training at my office job. <laughs> I spot you. You try and scam me. You don't know what's coming. Let's do something else. Let's put this blind up, shall we? Oh, and then I have, we can put new bedding on the bed. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> and then maybe we can like fold the clothes and the, this is good. Okay. Tiny itty bitty stool. Okay, well here's the blind. <laughs> it matches the ones in the rest of the apartment. Does it come with directions? Probably not. Okay. Let's look at some context clues. Oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Huh? Yeah, so the, yep, that hangs from the, yep. Got it. Dang, they really gotta be given directions though. Julie, when she did this, she used a drill bit. Context clues, context clues. Gonna need something taller. Context clues, more context clues. Yeah, okay, okay. Is this the right size? No! sound reminds me way too much of the dentist. I gotta look up how to do this. Finally figured it out. So the next side. I feel like a badass right now. I wouldn't say this is the prettiest thing I've ever done. I don't know how my friend Julie did four of these. It's not easy. What a truth. <laughs> I did it. That looks great. Amazing. I'm so impressed with myself. Never done that before. I've never successfully got an anchor in a wall before. <laughs> I've just sort of crossed my fingers and hoped for the best. Now I don't have to do that because it's not going anywhere. Okay, I got the rug down and I'll show you in a minute. I think we should together the Brooklinen sheets. So these ones are Brooklinen. On their Black Friday sale, I was like, you know what? I want some like cozy flannel sheets. I bought this with my own monies. Oh, sick. Came with a tote. I didn't think I bought that, did I? Uh, I did. I, I did buy a tote. Did I mean to buy a tote? <laughs> well, whether it was free or not, it's still cute. Oh, that's nice. Wow. I love the sheets I have now, but there's something about flannel that is, oh yeah. So I got this for the duvet cover. Is the lighting really bad? I know I should wash these first, but I, no. So this is the duvet, obviously, and then I got this like speckled white. And then next summer, I think there's another package. That guy was so nice. Good karma to all the Amazon delivery people in general, because this time of year is so, difficult for them <laughs> especially with all this like day one day prime shipping i try not to do that because it's just it's really stressful for the workers if you work for amazon delivery let me know if that's true but they do not get enough credit and especially for people who walk up the stairs to deliver the packages i don't remember what this is <laughs> oh bathroom shelves not sure if i want to tackle that tonight we'll, we'll see 
I think the creative spark in me is back, which is a part of the reason I decided to do Vlogmas. I'm excited to actually read that book I bought called The Courage to Be Disliked. I was definitely influenced to buy it and I keep carrying it with me and one day I'll actually read it. But I'm curious if anyone else here has grown up also as a serial people pleaser. My goodness, is it hard to unlearn that? It's actually super soft. It doesn't feel like it's too heavy of a flannel. If that makes any sense. Hopefully blue looks good in here. But how freeing is it just to be able to live your life authentically for you and nobody else, you know? I'm still figuring it out, but one of my secret goals with Vlogmas too is to get my confidence back. And I'm already feeling it even just after one day. What do you think? What do you think of the blue? I don't know. It's a nice change. It just looks a bit cozier, I think. And then here's the rug from my last place. So I may end up replacing it, but for right now I'm gonna use it. Okay, it's been a, a few days actually. I got some bad news. Um, my couch delivery date has been pushed to nobody knows. <laughs> it's okay though. Honestly, it's to be expected the this time of year to have delays in, in um, deliveries, especially with furniture. So we're gonna pivot a little bit because I was gonna set up the living room, but without the couch, there's really not a lot to set up and that's, you know, it gives us an opportunity to fix this bathroom. I'm not a fan of the baby blue. It's a little bit out there. But when I went to Home Goods, my friend Julius helped me picking some decorative items that play down the blue a little bit. We're gonna sell all this up right now. But I have some shelving that I received and this right here is gonna go. I don't want it anymore. I think it's just ugly. It's ugly. Oh, did I get a package? Hold on, I think. So we have one item that hasn't delivered that is not here yet for the bathroom, but I'll we'll just, I'll put that in another update video. But the shelving I'm excited about, although I am a little scared to put up shelves by myself. I've never successfully done it before, but since I put up those blinds the other day, my confidence has raised a little bit. We love things that come with directions. I'm a little nervous about leveling it. So these are the floating shelves. And I figure once we get those up, then we can organize everything and then eventually I can just give this a nice scrub down. The bathroom needs to be cleaned. At my last apartment, I tried to put up shelves and I failed. And so when I moved out, I just spackled it. I spackled the hole and nobody knows. I know what these things are now. I know how to put those in. So maybe it's good we started with the blinds and not the shelves. Oh, and it comes with a level. I like the brown. Yeah, oh, but that's kind of nice. Right? Or you can also do something like this. Can you see that okay? Like a little, it's just kind of like, look at the lines and figure it out for yourself vibes. That's cool. Step one, mark whole location. Do I want it? Like sometimes when I trust my gut with interior design stuff, I'm just so very wrong. But I kind of like this, this look, you know? Or does that throw you off? I'm like, I'm looking in the viewfinder to see because I can't tell. Or maybe like, oh, shelves but that's kind of ugly is it no i don't like that i like the idea of that but it would need to be a different shape maybe just the traditional way yeah we should do it together that doesn't look very level do i trust it can you even see that probably not if these are uneven i uh, well, it'll drive me nuts. I'm so nervous. That wasn't so bad. It's drywall. I don't know how you're supposed to hang a shelf evenly. Because even when you put the holes and you drill it, things get like moved around a little bit. This apparently is still slightly off, but it's within like the two lines on the level. Like it's in between those little black lines. So it's not horribly off. As long as it looks okay to my eye, it's not gonna bother me. I think it's fine then. So I guess I'll just secure that. I guess this stuff tastes practice. You know what, it says it's off, but I think it looks fine. I'm gonna say it's a win. This is the state of the bathroom. My toxic trait is thinking that I can get things done in half the time that it actually takes me. Unless I'm walking somewhere, I can easily walk somewhere twice as fast as Google Maps tells me I, I can.
You can definitely tell it's a little bit off. But is that just me being too picky? Yeah, see here's the screws I can't get in. That's a problem for another day. But I think with, like, how cute is that? Another new spot for vlogging, that's great. Okay. But I like that. I mean, I also have to consider the reach, you know? That's perfect. I measured so my products would fit. <laughs> All like my face products would probably go in here. Sunscreen, I have three sunscreens I think. I use like a ton of Elta MD and Supergroup sunscreen. That's, those are my go-tos. Is this boring to you? I don't, I haven't really talked about this much. So dry shampoo, maybe I can go out here. With like the hair stuff can stay on the shelf. And then like the face stuff. Trader Joe's like regular moisturizer. I love that one. Oh and then my double cleanser. My skin improved a lot once I started double cleansing. Um, Vaseline, who doesn't need it? Isn't that pleasing to the eyeball? I love it. And then this, looking good so far too. I got everything off this. Cause it just doesn't, it doesn't suit me anymore, you know? I bought this mat being like, oh yeah, this can be great. Like antibacterial, diatomaceous earth, fast drying. I hate it. I hate it. I'd rather have bacteria than have this. So I got something else. That's the good news. I think it's good to be able to let go of things that you just hate. I don't need to hang on to them. Like this. These are stained now. I don't know why. Replacing them with... Here's towel number one. It doesn't match the blue exactly, but that's a good thing. I have that. Funky towel number two. Boom. Towel number three. More neutral tones. Ba -bum. Towel number four. How cute is this? I think these are beautiful. She picked these out. I, mm, I don't take any credit. But I think they fit really well with the blue without making the blue too blue. But I was gonna put them on the shelves, but I don't, I don't think it's gonna, gonna work. Like that, yeah? And then, Look at the bathroom, right? It's so much better than that freaking stone. I love that. I like being able to squish onto something out of the shower, you know? Maybe these can fit up there. Maybe I just have to roll them right. I like it. Actually, I have hand towels too, but I don't really have space for those right now. New shower curtain. I did just replace this at my old place not too long ago, maybe five months ago. Can you see? I don't know if it, if you can really see all the detail. Hold on, hold on. This is one of the hand towels. I am aware that, you know, there's paper above here and a candle, you know. It's pretty far away though. I don't, I'm not concerned. I'm proud of myself for this whole bathroom. Thank you, Julie, for uh, helping me design it. Um, I think that's enough apartment updates for one video, but next video, hopefully the couch will be here and I have a lot of kitchen updates. I got a lot of stuff at Target and Home Goods again for the kitchen. And also we're continuing Vlogmas. I'm excited about that. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up before you go. The engagement really helps YouTube recognize my channel and push it out to other awesome people like you. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. December is full of videos for me, quite literally. So it's important that you subscribe so you don't miss one. I'll see you in my next video. I love ya. Bye.